Um, what I want to show you on this haircut, um, we're going to leave it longer. This is for the longer styled um, haircuts. Um, but it is bushy, so we're going to cut some length off and then we're going to texture. What I always like to do is start back here on the nape. What I like to do is kind of cut into it so it's not one straight line. This is what's fun um, when you style it. Gives it a fun look. Then I always like to start, or start up here, up on the crown. Take as much off as you want. I always go down the middle first. Then I always go to the right, then I go back to the left. make sure that you connect so my middle line I'm going to connect this hair with my middle line that gives you the guide point and guideline that you want for your cutting and like I said I always like to cut into it so it gives it more of a textured look instead of a cut cut look So it makes it kind of uneven and textured looking. Then when I get to my sides, I want some of this length because we want to put it around his ear a little bit. So I'm going to hold it out above this ear so we know that it's long enough still. But we need it trimmed up so it looks decent with the haircut. Then you can always hold this, double check it, take a little bit more off if you need to. Okay, and that's kind of how we want it to look there. Okay, then we're going to come and cut the left side. Like I said, just kind of chop into it so it has that textured look. Kind of like it long around his hairline. Okay, again, you can hold it out by his ear. A little bit more off. Okay, then from there, I like to take this guide point and come up for the top. See the difference? And you're going to come in. And cut that. Now let me turn it this way. Now I always like to go middle, again, and right. All the way down. Then I like to go middle to left. If you stay in that routine, then, then it's easier to stay with your guide for your haircut. So just middle, right, Middle, left, middle, right, middle, left. Okay. And then in just a minute, I'm going to show you how to cut the front. Then I'll show you how to texture it. That's that's a big key to these longer hairstyles, so they don't get too um, full looking and too puffy looking. You like a lot of dimension and texture in it. Okay, you're going to want to lift them up, and you're going to want wispies kind of by their ears and their face, so don't take too, too much off of those.
Again, there we are to the sides. Leave them a little longer. That was middle and then right. Now middle, go to the left. Okay, this front part, you're going to want to kind of hold a little bit straight up instead, of, or you can come down, either or. If you come straight up, don't cut it way, way short, or it's going to be short this way. So you can cut it up. Then what you're going to want to do is just push it down. Okay, and it's still long up through this front. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold it down. And then we're going to chop into it because we don't want the bang area looking like it's cut straight across. Again, I went middle left and then middle right. Okay, so then choose your finger, see if that's about the length you want it, which I think that's the length we want it. Okay, then we're going to take your texturizing shears. Um, the normal shears just have the blades. The texturizing shears, they have notches out in them. This is what you want to use for the top of and sides for the longer um, hairstyles for the guys. What you're going to do is come in, cut through the tops there. This gives it texture so it's not so, so full, especially when it starts growing out. Again, see I went up and then I come to this side. Now I'm going to want to come to this side. Don't, don't take these shears clear down to the scalp. They'll make little pokies. Now I always like to come to, by the ears so it doesn't get so full and the sides. This just really helps it grow out and have it look better while growing out. Okay, then you're going to want to just get all that hair out. Then I'm going to show you how to style it. What you're going to want to do... Oh, where is that? Okay, now the second part, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to check this haircut, make sure it's all even, um, and then we're going to show you how to style it. Okay, what you want to do up through your top is you know, we had cut forward, we cut middle, right, then left. What you want to do is you want to come down this middle, you want to lift it up. See how that's a little longer there? We're going to take that and trim it off. That's even. Then you're going to pull these bangs up. You can cut that part a little bit. Just want to make sure that this is all even up through this top. So if you cut the one way, you're going to want to check it the other way. If you cut down the hair this way, you're going to want to check it the other way. Okay, now for the front part and the ears, you're going to want to take this by your ears and pull it out. Okay, this one I'm holding on to longer as you pull out, so it's a little bit long right here. So you're going to want to come in, trim that down a little bit, and same thing with up front. You're going to want to just hold it straight out, whether you look in the mirror or do it by feeling, to see which side is longer or if they're even. Just hold it or check in the mirror. Okay, and we're good. So now what we're going to do is make sure that it's good and wet. Okay, he's good and wet. Then what I like to use is Spiker from Ice. It's kind of a glue. Just rub it in your hands. Really good. Then just go all the way through your hair. Really good. Just 
Make sure it's all through your hair really, really good. Okay, then you're back. You're going to want to take it and just kind of piece it out with that gel. And right here by your ears, you're going to want to kind of push it out so it lifts up on the ears a little. Then the sides, push forward. Okay, and then just take your fingers back and forth. Then I always like to finish by spraying it. Okay, that's how you style the longer style of hair.